Right, so before the educator world, I was in fitness heavily involved, still kind of consider myself a fitness consultant. And I tell ladies that same thing all the time. You know, age is a state of mind. It's just a number. If you keep up with your body, keep up with the way you eat, there's no reason. Like, just because you're getting older in years does not mean you got to get less fit and things like that. So I'm glad you reemphasized that point for the listeners as well. Yeah, absolutely. And I just, you know, I just turned 48 and still playing mm -hmm. volleyball. You're still doing it, right? Um, I'm still doing it in my co-ed rec league where we are like undefeated this season, which I'm super happy about. Yeah. And I'm still playing with 20 and early 30 year olds, which is exactly. nice. Exactly. I like uh, it. I'm, I'm a fan. I think that's really important. You know, I'm a, currently I run every morning. I'm training for a marathon, but I still go out 10 Ks, five Ks, half marathons, the whole thing. And again, as former athletes, and I know everyone that's listening to me, that is a former athlete need that itch, man. You need something that's going to get you up competing and get you around, especially when you're building kind of a lifestyle around kids, because these kids, you get out of shape, they will run circles around you. They require, <laughs> they require energy, a different type of energy throughout your entire day, full 24 hours. But sometimes it feels like 25 hours a day. So, you know, you got to make sure you're keeping up with that kind of lifestyle because they'll, they'll, they'll take advantage if you just are that teacher or that educator, that parent that's just sitting on their behind. They know they're smart enough to know, okay, that's someone I can take advantage of. Oh, yeah.